Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jamie McQuaid with Magnet Forensics and today we're going to walk through some of the new recovery imaging options uh, with Magnet Axiom. Up on the screen here we've got uh, Magnet uh, Axiom process, um, some basic case details first. Uh, today I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, S3 uh, which is an SGH uh, i747M. Uh, that's the, the model we're looking at today. Um, this works with a number of different uh, uh, Samsung devices, so uh, we'll look at the list in a second here, but this is the, the device I'm uh, using right now. Um, you can create, call your case anything you want. We'll just call it test case for our example here, and uh, I'll leave everything else. First thing you're going to want to do is load in your evidence. So uh, the first step, uh, evidence sources, we're going to go to mobile. We're going to choose an Android device. And we're going to choose Acquire Evidence. And new in uh, version 1.12, um, you'll see an option between ADB and Recovery. ADB is just like the old versions of, uh, of Axiom, works really well. Um, if you want to do a quick or a full image, um, you would go the ADB route. Now you do require the uh, phone to be unlocked and in USB debugging for the ADB method to work, which works great. You can get a quick backup or um, attempt a, a routing to get a full acquisition this method. Uh, the new method what we're going to do today is the recovery option. This is great. Um, it will work, but you need to know the specific device that you're looking at. and uh, be able to have a recovery profile for it. Um, we come shipped with a number of them, which I'll show in a second, um, or you could load in your own if you have one of those as well. So uh, let's choose recovery option and it takes us to our evidence sources. Um, now one thing that uh, is really helpful for the recovery images is um, it does not need to be in USB debugging in order for it to work. You can have a locked device, password protected, and if you've got a recovery image for it, it can bypass the passcode, which is uh, really helpful for quite a few devices here. So um, this is certainly an option to take if, uh, if you've got a locked device and uh, can't get into it at all. So first thing we're gonna do is select a recovery image. Now these do not get get shipped by default with Axiom because I think the file itself is about six or seven gigs in size. Um, so what you can do is uh, go to our site and click the download now button which takes you to the magnet site and I'll show you what that looks like right here. And you can see this is just magnetforensics.com and it takes you to the recovery images. You can download uh, a, a, an Excel uh, spreadsheet of all of the devices we support or you can download the zip right here. Um, I've already downloaded it. Um, basically just extract the zip file, run the executable and it loads in all those recovery images for you. Um, so a very easy uh, place to get those. Um, and for our sake here, I've already got them loaded in. You can see there's a number of devices supported here. Uh, I think there's about 680 plus devices uh, for Samsung devices here. So if I'll search for my model number, I'll just uh, do the i747M uh, and there it is. And you can see it found the device that we're looking for. So it's fully supported with the recovery image and I can choose that uh, for our case here. You can also down here load in your own custom recovery image. So like I said, if it's not included in our recovery images and you have your own and trust um, the recovery image that you have, you can load that in directly right there uh, and uh, and have it uh, work out. If there is no recovery image available for you and you don't have one, then you're stuck with the ADB options and or uh, JTAG chip off type route, um, which again works quite well, but uh, it's, it's not gonna work for this recovery method. Um, so I'm gonna choose this one and and hit next. And now you get some instructions. First thing is it's going to be a warning up here. Make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing this. You can risk uh, wrecking the device if you don't follow the instructions clearly and uh, and properly. Um, the warning here is really just saying make sure you know the device does not have a locked bootloader. You will be able to flash uh, any device, but many times if you don't have the right recovery image or the bootloader is locked, you have the risk of either wiping or, or bricking the device, um, which is a big problem when you're dealing with uh, an investigation that has these devices. So make sure you do your research beforehand. I know that this device that I have here, the, uh, the S3, um, has an unlocked bootloader and it, uh, it's, it has a, the correct recovery image here that we've loaded in here because it came right from us. So I'm just going to hit start and continue on. Now the first step is making sure there are no devices in download mode connected to the computer. Well that's good because I don't have it connected yet. Um, what you want to do is leave it disconnected for now, hit next, 
and now it's telling you to put the device in download mode and reconnect it. So download mode for Android devices will typically mean you have to press the volume down key and the home button and the power button all at the same time. It will put you into download mode uh, and allow you to flash that new recovery image. Um, let me just open this up and I'll show you what download mode looks like. Um, you can't see the physical phone, but this is generally what it would look like on one of those phones. Um, you press in the power the phone's powered off you press the um, volume down home and power button it gives you this warning uh, you hit volume up to continue and then you get the phone into this mode that means it's in download mode ready to go so what we're going to do now is go back here it's waiting for it i'm going to connect it it's i got the phone here in download mode and connect it it's going to read it give it a second to recognize it and now it's complete. It's installing the, the device and it, or the driver for it first. So if I didn't have the proper driver installed, it'll do that. Um, so you give it a second, it did that. Now it's flashing the recovery image. And if you can look at the device, you'll see a little blue bar move across the screen. Um, that means it's flashing it. Perfect, it's done. And now what you need to do is put the device into recovery mode and uh, reconnect it. So um, you'll need to turn off the device, which I'll do right now. And we'll put it in recovery mode, which means you would have to put the volume up key, the volume down, or sorry, the volume up key, the home button, and the power button. So a little different than download mode, but uh, still going to give us uh, the same purpose. So we'll hit those. And the phone will boot up into recovery mode. And what that's going to do is it's going to look for it and uh, wait for it to, uh, to boot to a certain point, And it should begin now. There we go, installing the recovery mode drivers. It's good. And now it's searching for the device in recovery mode. All complete, everything's good here. So what we can do is once it's complete, you can hit next. And now we can see the familiar setup where you have the device recognized here. You can see it's a Samsung device, i747M, just like I had mentioned. It's running 442, so an older OS. Um, and you notice here it says privileged access, yes. Typically, you're going to see privileged access say no here, meaning the device isn't rooted or you don't have physical access. Now we're loaded into recovery mode. I actually have full physical access to this device now. So what I can do is choose an image type, which is full, um, where you can actually do a full physical image of this phone. I'm going to add it to my case. It gets queued up, ready to be imaged, and now we can continue on processing just like I would any other phone. Uh, and uh, we'll, we can just quickly go through this, add the standard artifacts. We'll go right down to the end, analyze evidence, and it'll start going through. So it'll go through, it'll start uh, prepping our image, and uh, ready to go. That's basically it. You can see the phone starting to pro, uh, acquire. Then it's going to be, uh, once it's done acquiring, it'll process the phone uh, image and uh, we'll continue on with our investigation, reviewing any data on it. That's everything I have for this video. Feel free to check out other videos. We're going to go through a few other phones and uh, uh, other devices of interest uh, as we go build more videos for this to, uh, to help you guys out. Uh, hope you enjoyed the new feature and have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.